Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Evolution Episode 20. We're back, back, back again here in Belfast, Northern Ireland. It's going to be promising a great evening of Evolution. We kick off things tonight. We have a one on one match. And of course, scheduled for one full. Introducing first. From Manchester, England, Justice Stone. Have an interesting evening. We're ready to see what awaits us on the course to dead end the pay per view coming your way on Sunday, 23rd of February. We've got four episodes of Evolution ahead of us here tonight. Later on tonight, uh, we've got to take a short look back at what happened last time around we were at here. Uh, we have to take a look what's going on. And of course, the um, situation around the Tag Team Championships, the hype show. We will be taking on the Pirates as a challenger here tonight. And furthermore, your RFWE Fed World Champion Rick Coase will defend against a mystery opponent. Announced prior on Evolution 19. If you missed that, make sure to check that out on youtube.com slash rfwe2014, rfwefed.weebly.com, and follow us on Twitter, rfwefed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, a newcomer to the scene. His name is Alex Wright. Is it the right price to? Start off here tonight. I think it is debut here tonight. And that makes it all the more interesting for him. Let me just check that. Yes, it is his debut. Just to show in his official return. So let's see what they uh, can make of it. Now, if you're coming to our streams, then you will know, of course, that uh, you are, have the opportunity to earn fan tiers, which we have to uh, enable right now. Uh, because I forgot to turn it on. Let me just check that whether it's a little bit far away. I'm hearing that. That should be better. Might be the case. Let's see if we can make this uh, work a little bit more in the way that we love to. Oh, there we go. So I'm more stable. Tripods, you have to learn how to work with it. It's not always the best, but it should work right now. That's a little bit better. Let me know if it is, because it could be. Alright, so we've got Just a Stone here and Alex Wright. Two newcomers, uh, well, or returners to the scene. Taking a look at the men's division currently, of course, the RFWE Fit World Champion Rick Kerr stands tall ahead of the owner Jeffrey Blight, both from the Netherlands. And we have Dan Marston, three, Roderick McGillicuddy, and four, John Aaron, Jaden Shadow, five and six, Bavarian Rin, seven, The Pebble, and eight, Corey Saban, and Jack Walker close off position number ten. Although I don't see we have a number 10 listed, so something's gone wrong in the order. Well, we'll check the order of merit back soon after the show. In any case, we're moving on with this matchup right against Stone. And it's good to be back. This week we're live on Tuesday. And the next couple of weeks will be live on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. UK, 3 p.m. EST, 9 p.m. Central European time for Evolution. And Alex Wright's going to go for the cover. It doesn't work out. And a special start time, 9 p.m. UK, Sunday, 23rd of February, for the Dead End pay per view. And the upcoming weeks will decide the number one contenders and great matches. Scheduled as well as here tonight. Alex Wright with a great splash. What does that do? Will I give him the victory? 
Oh, harsh landing. Later on tonight, you'll also see an Extreme Rules match between John Aaron and Larry Wheels. And the women are in action. Violet Raven against Laurie Lopez and Hannah Hawkins against the current women's champion, Kaylee Ray. Although it is quite a dispute there, but we'll let you know more about that soon. Oh, close to count for Alex Wright. Oh, but just some stone count, is it? Will he lock it in? Single leg Boston Crab. Was that enough to get Alex Wright to submit? No, he doesn't give in yet. But don't expect things to go right, taking things to the better or the worse. Questions. Raises it. And out of cover for just a stone for a great move. No! Two and three quarters. And now we're going to throw him in. And that's all they wrote. And we're still looking for more roster members. So make sure that if you're interested, you just send us a message. <laughs> I think that's more for the ladies, but... Whatever. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to Art of W Evolution, episode twenty. Justice Stone is taking the mockery out of Alex Roy. Who's going to win it? And thank you for the follow. We're doing fine, working hard, back on evolution after a one and a half month hiatus. And uh, well we continue where we left off, and Rote is now set to the dead end paper on the 23rd of February next month. Oh and Alex Roy is taking it to just a stone here. But uh, my day's been fine my enemies. Kevin and I'm your commentator for tonight. A lot of people too tend to think I sound like Jeffrey Blight, but Jeffrey Blight is the owner. Uh, send us a DM on the Twitter. Follow us on twitter.com slash rfwefleck. Send us a DM. Bo Dallas wins. I don't think that's Bo Dallas, but it kind of sounds and uh, looks like him, only more fit. It's Alex Wright for the victory, gets his first one to date. But uh, yes, we're open for new, uh, new contenders, new people around here. Next up, we move on to the Tag Team Championship scene. And that's going to be one hell of a matchup. Because things have changed around here. That's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one full, and it's for the RFWE Fed Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the challengers. Ooh, Judge, uh, sorry, my mic fell over. Uh, it's John Woods and Finn's Pee Wee, commonly known as the Pirates. They've had a run of one day, and the second reign lasted 
Uh, for 154 days after defeating Dutch power at the Winter Games on the 20th of January 2019 and they lost it to the hype show at the Victory Road pay-per-view I thought I was the only one but uh, I think they forgot the boat down at the docks of Belfast and yeah, I think they should uh, walk a little bit faster. They're not the fastest part anymore. They're getting old. Old and still. But they're trying to take back the Tag Team Championships. I like chips. <laughs> that means in, in UK English that means you like french fries and you would have to say crisp if you like chips but whatever American English is different um but in other words here they are the hype train has arrived and so have your tag team champions a team consisting of former world champion Dan Masters and former RRF for champion Damien Valentine, they are the tag team champions, the hype show. I know, okay, good. What are you eating? Um, I'm eating nothing actually. There's no bag at all. I'm trying to configure something in the background, but it's not working the way I like it to. But nothing. <laughs> I have to be focused on the show, goddammit! <laughs> uh, but I'm... Drinking not iced tea because iced tea is no longer great. Um, how about no? How about no? And <laughs> uh, here we go. It's a Tenada tag team match. It seems like it. I was unaware about that. Uh, thank you for the follow, Jack Sniper two one two. That makes us to 92 followers in total. Thank you. Seems like RFW is growing on the very first night back. After a short hiatus. And Damien Valentine is taking down Vince Peewee. John Woods engaged with Dan Masters who's got him in control. Pirates seem to be dominating in the early stages of this matchup. Um, depends on what you mean because interactive means a lot so let me know what you mean mm. oh shit well tag team action still in the way tag team championship in the balance oh an Arj DDT but instead a close line from the Galleon by John Woods oh a nice back body drop for that master something we don't see very often from the former world champion
For those new to us, we have had too many championships in the pod, but currently we have our RFW EFET World Championship, which is a merger from the RFW EFET and World Championships. Um, women's Championship, Tag Team Championship, the European Championship, and the Women's Tag Team Titles. Um, Oh well, yes, if that's what you mean. Oh yeah, we have a lot of users um, that ha have created their own uh, wrestler or as well uh, have chosen an active independent wrestler. That is the uh, choice you have. And you can just say, okay, I want to be, um, for instance, I want to be, 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 be one who we got uh, Dylan Bostic was one who we work with uh, Curtis Norman Jack uh, Jess oh we know he's already in it um, let me get some examples say currently you would like to be uh, I'm looking for somebody who could be in there uh, from the UK, Johnny Storm. Well, you have to follow us on Twitter, RFPWE Fed, and send us a DM, and we'll check what we can do for you. You can create your own if you have the game. We can create one for you. We can choose to uh, choose an existing wrestler, like Joey Legend, possibly. On so many others. And I've just been informed for those in the area of Jamaica that there's been a huge 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake in the northwest coast of Jamaica. Um, and that could create a tsunami, so please be advised if near the area to uh, stay out of it or seek shelter for whichever you can. I um, mean, the prayers will be with you, of course. Wow, that is heavy news. Uh, yes. Oh no! No 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 no! It's already over. We missed it. The hype show has retained. Hello, Blaze McCoy. Welcome. So, everybody, thank you for the follow as well. Brings us to ninety-three. It's not. It's a good start. Hello. Hope you're all doing fine tonight. Oh, and Dan is happy, but Damien is happy as well. Wow. And we're getting new roster additions in the women's division, in the men's division. Everything's coming together. So that's great. Awesome. Next up, returning to action, we have John Aaron, who is the current European champion. He'll be facing off against Larry Wills in Extreme Rules match. Larry Wills is just huge. So, well, uh, we're going to continue on ahead. We'll figure out what the hell that's going to be. painful not the best start you want to have of course around here but that's the way it goes uh, let's take a look at the current uh, situation in the European Championship 
This is John Aaron's second reign after um, taking down Warrior J and Crossroads. Uh, now on Victor Road, I should say. Uh, after he lost it to Warrior J, it's been back and forth. And he's held the championship since the 23rd of June, which is absolutely phenomenal. You can't even expect it to go that long, but it has. And there's so much going on at the minute in our FW roster changes. Um, well, what else has be, has not been going on even? It's incredible. So yeah, uh, thanks for uh, letting us know all kinds of things. Thank you for the follow on Twitter as well. So make sure uh, to follow us on Twitter. And from there on out, we'll give you more information. We do that regularly to keep you informed on how it's gonna go. But Larry Wills, of course, a dangerous man, a tall man, even. Of course, John Aaron currently is the number five of the ranking. Larry Wills, the number 15. Debut and lost his initial match. Oh, but there's a huge spear, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Harsh landing. One, two. Oh, two and a half. Didn't expect that. And if you want to support us, there's multiple ways to do so. Make sure you just follow us and like and retweet. Those are common things. Um, but also, subscribe to us on YouTube to watch all the shows because we've been active since 2014. It'll be six years in existence this year, so you can watch back the last couple of shows. Check out what you've missed, how far we've come, in quality of production, all that. But there's more to come your way soon uh, in things as well as on the website and much, much more that will get you involved. Um, but not without overdoing it because we don't want that and we don't have the time to do it. So I'm very busy with my studies and all that, so uh, no can do. But we're trying to do uh, a lot. And yeah, we're just checking out things that work go uh, go together with it, and that includes firstly streaming back together this week on Tuesday, and as of then back on every Wednesday night. And from there on out, we'll just have to find out what's uh, what's good and what's working. So yeah, all that. Oh, nice. Oh wow, that's great. Awesome stuff there. Looks painful, but it definitely works. And now John Aaron goes to the top probe and connects. No, he didn't. The knees were up. Surprise, surprise there. And therefore, that goes wonderful and bad as hell. If you still want to join us on the roster, you can do so. Send us a DM on Twitter with your uh, name, hometown, country, uh, short biography, and tags of where you can find you. Of course, remind you, 2K19, XB1. Yeah, punning, and yeah, we know that. You're the world champion. Don't worry. Cool.
And if you uh, make sure to join us now, because we've already uh, gone further ahead, of course, nearly a month, but that's it. We can work something out. We can record additional ta uh, additional footage, so that might not be a problem even. So we're working out things. And in the past, we've had uh, supporters coming out, uh, as well as uh, making sure to subscribe to us on Twitch. And putting in uh, some financial support because it takes a lot of time to record these shows and we're trying our best to do so. But uh, we're also using ads on our channel, just short ones, so that makes sure that you get the best. And we get some uh, composition, however small, but it helps. So just tick tune every time you can. And that's the least I can ask of you. So thank you very much. Larry Wills now. Oh my god, John Aaron. What kind of up things is that? Incredible. Wow. Larry Wills can is it. That's incredible. Wasn't expecting that. We're going to the outside of course. Only pinfalls and submissions are in effect. Oh, that's a nasty cut if I've not ever seen one. That's not nice. That's the way it goes. Oh, harsh. Will the European champion be able to recover from that? I don't expect him to recover from that. But Larry Wheels is now in trouble. It's the other way around. Can the European champion score a victory? And he does. John Aaron is your winner. If you want to tweet us out, send your tweet to at RFWFED. If you're watching live, use the hashtag evolution. And check out our website, rfwefed.weebly.com. Because it will be a great update soon coming to you. Oh, and John Aaron, wonderful there. Now we're moving on with the women's division. Women's division is on the rise and will take you into an in-depth look of how it's going to go down here tonight. This is Laurie Lopez. Laurie Lopez is good for all kinds of fun and hell inside the ring. Current champion of the women's division is Kayla Ray, who has won it from Kimberly Bly at Victory Road on the 23rd of June at the Victory Road pay per view. We'll take a short outbreak and we'll be right back with you to watch the remainder of this matchup. Lori Lopez making her way to the ring right now. For those watching on YouTube or Twitch Prime, Lori Lopez, one of the most flexible athletes on the roster. Take is no type of getting in there. Olori Lopez is working on many things at the same time. And her opponent. She is one half of the women's tag team champions, the Gin Tonics. It's Violet Raven. Are you still watching? And let me know who you've got to win this matchup. Because that is one of a matchup we've got here for the women's division. 
But we'll also see the women's champion in action later on tonight. As it's Tans, Violet Raven is the current number two. Thanks to that women's tag team title run. Lori Lopez not ranked, not an official match since the reset of the rankings after the latest pay per view. And so we're still ongoing. division is one of the best in infant history we have enough uh, main event countless of main events uh, throughout fight night which was the longest flagship running show now evolution revolution pay-per-views they've main event and all kind of things with great great stipulations steel cages hell in a cell elimination chambers we've seen all of it throughout the past uh, near six years. Come to think of it, when we take a look at the history of the Women's Championship, at uh, 2014's third pay-per-view, if I'm not mistaken, WrestleMania, uh, the Elimination Chamber decided that Beth Koschansky, formerly known as Beth, something with a bird, uh, last name won the initial women's championship and then lost it 110 days later to ODB so that gives you something uh, to think about great story Lori Lopez now brings Violet Raven into trouble So are you all still enjoying the show? I hope you are because that's what we aim to give you. Ooh, harsh lining on the apron. Where does it go from here? Later on in the main event, Rick Hervis answers a mystery challenger for the RFWE Fed World Championship. Who's it going to be? That's the question. Speculations roam around for somebody from the past to return. Past champion. And that could be many, because the lineage of the RFB Fit World Championship is very long. Curvis Reign is the 69th champion since it did. Yeah, that would definitely look like it hurt. And as I think, uh, what needs to be done, and then a huge neck breaker following up on that wonderful display there. And Violet Raven wins it. It did look like Lori Lopez got injured after that, not moving since that impact. Then rolled out of the ring quickly, attended to by medical staff. But she's back in the ring. Why is she doing that? I don't think that's a smart decision. But a handshake is in place. Congrats to the winner. And Lori Lopes is hurting, so she got to get that checked out. In the meantime, we're moving on ahead with our show as planned. Three more matches to go. And we're ready for a men's division matchup one on one. Introducing first, man from Lincoln, England. Was undefeated at one point. Has uh, suffered his loss, his first loss, most recently. His name is the Pebble, and the demand that wore a, a championship match most recently. I think it was granted for the European Championship, and was unsuccessful in capturing it, and therefore the belt stayed with John Aaron. If I'm not mistaken.
If you've got any question about our to be our history, anything else towards me, towards anyone, just let us know. But of course, the pebble is not the only one in the room, but he takes his time. And I get the way he does that, but is it beneficial? I'm not too sure about that. Because his opponent. Is somebody that really knows how to turn a party up. And he is from Little Rock, Arkansas in the USA. His name is William Caesar. And what are we looking forward to later on tonight? We have that main event. It's going to bring so much necessary things coming up your way. William Caesar's trying to take it on. And you can understand, of course, that is much needed to get your way there. Did he eat more? Um, I'm not too sure. It could be the case. But maybe it's also strength. Who knows? Let's see what these two gentlemen can bring. But of course, that can only come from the champion, such an insult, and I get it. I'm gonna stay on top. But don't forget that the Rick Curva still has a challenger left to go his way. And it's gonna be a mystery opponent for his title. We'll have more information soon about that when the main event comes your way, but throws a pebble, starts it all off. And already adding insult to injury. It's one of his trademarks. He always keeps his sunglasses on. I'm not too sure why, but he does so. I'm not too sure whether that's the smartest thing, but he yeah, will. He's doing it. question is what is next for these two gentlemen because they've been high on the rankings but where do they go from there because they seem like they've lost their edge both of them and I think this match is very important to get them back up on the table and put champions on notice And I think as it stands now that William Caesar might have a great shot at it. But where does it go from there? Pebble now put in the corner. Might have troubles on ahead. Question is, how does he deal with him? And what is he? Oh, is he gonna try and submit it? Yes, he's gonna go for it. Is it the right decision? I'm not too sure.
It's certainly trying to go with things here. Oh, that's good. Pebble is now fully in control of what is going on. He's got to be careful because the situation can change at any given second. That's something you should expect from an R for the matchup that it goes back and forth until one of them is able to pull through. And that is not the easiest to do so. William C is now back in control. Going for that powerhouse moves that he's used to do it. Which is also quite logical to do so. But the pebble two. Ooh, that came very, very close though. To bring that one to an end. The pebble's still taunting. Not the wise decision. But can he finish it off here? That's a harsh shot towards the face and the elbow. Oh, that could heavily injure somebody. Oh, from the apron they go to the outside. Where does it go from there? Oh, two, not even two. This is still not as good as it should be. Well, I'm not too sure why he ate more, if that is still the question. I wouldn't be able to tell. But what we do know is that the Pebble has won this matchup. Surprisingly, because William Caesar looked to be better. But that is what is left. Pebble elbow. And the pebble is your winner. We're going to take a look ahead for the next women's division matchup. Hannah Hawkins takes on the current women's champion, Kay Lee Ray. That's not all. We're going to take a short break and be right back with you of 30 seconds. And for those, of course, watching on Twitch Prime and YouTube, the action goes on. This is Hannah Hawkins. And Hawkins, one of the newest competitors on the roster. He's ready to compete here tonight. I was wondering to see what's going to bring it on there and Hannah Hawkins has got many great attributes that she could use in order to beat the women's champion question is how far will it get her those are the questions no doubt about it. Many great things can come from it. And 
Nana Hawkins is now waiting for her opponent. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. She is your current women's champion. She's on her second reign, her first reign. Get this, was on the 9th of January 2017, lasted eight days before Kimberly to go with Fight Night Season 7, Episode Number 1. Check that out if you want to know more about how that reign went. It ended on Episode Number 3 of Season 7. And now she's been holding it since the 23rd of June 2019 on Victory Road. When she took over the title from Kimberly Blythe, who in her turn held it for 78 days. Now in other words, many great things are unfolding here tonight. Let's see where that goes. Hannah Hawkins is so much more than Kayleigh Ray. She's trying to take the sure dirty punch here. I love it. That's great attitude. And she says, now ring the bell. Hannah Hawkins gets hip tossed. I don't think that was the smartest decision then. And we have news about the situation in Cuba and Jamaica. The tsunami warning has been uh, retracted. So that is good news for them. But it was a heavy earthquake. 7.7 .7 on the scale of Richter. That's a heavy, heavy earthquake. And Hannah Hawkins is on in trouble early on in this matches. Oh, that is painful. But how much more can you do? Good. And Katie Ray is really taking it to the punch. Hannah Hawkins in trouble. Oh no, no, no. Ooh, Hannah Hawkins might destroy Kaylee Ray. Small as she is, that looked like a power driver and she completely connected it. Oh, oh, that's Turner out. Kaylee Ray, of course, much bigger. Options here. Oh, two, nearly three. Not expected there, but it's certainly working out. Two, three. Kaylee Ray wins. Hannah Hopkins try. She was on the verge of winning it, but not good enough.
a shame, but at least she gave it a shot, and she's trying it, and I think you've got to applaud that for it. After this, it's time for the main event of the evening. Who will challenge Rick Hervers for the RFWE Efed World Championship? That is up next. So stick tuned to what will happen here now. Uh, what? No way. No, 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 no. That is impossible. It can't be. That is actually going to happen. Well, let's get to it then. If this, is this actually going on? Yes? Alright. Then there's uh, only one thing we can do. Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. The following match is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the RFPW EFA World Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Valkenburg, the Netherlands. He is a former five-time RFDB Fed World Champion at a total reign of 47 days. And is the owner of RFPW, Jeffrey Bullard. No team music needed. But now, something else is going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the champion from Paddington, the Netherlands. Standing at 186 tall. He is the 69th RFPWE Fit World Champion, Rick Covers. And get this, he's been holding this title for 515 days since he carried over the World Championship run of 1 September 2018. After he merged the RFW Championship into by defeating Corey Saban on Evolution number 11 on the 24th of May 2019. 515 days, the longest single and combined reign in RFPW history and has been going for nearly 6 years on the 31st of March. 6 years of RFW, this man working towards two years as the champion unbroken undefeated in championship action but now the owner has a say in it most notably these two gentlemen know each other all too well these two individuals are partners in a ring as the Dutch Power Alliance according uh, as well as in combination with the Dutch Lionesses for the Women's Acting Championship Division. But none other than that, also partners outside the ring, and that makes it all the more interesting. So many things on the line. What will it do for their relationship inside and outside of the ring? Many things unfolding, and many things happening here tonight. So, the RFWE Fed World Championship hangs in the balance. What will it be? World Curvers take it on and will be tomorrow be his 516 days champion or will Jeffrey Blot go in as the 6th reign as RFWE Fit World Champion. Here we go, ring the bell, we're on the way in this matchup, the main event of the evening. You don't want to miss that, so stick tuned, keep watching. 
all kinds of things happening here tonight. But, ladies and gentlemen, if all goes well and according to plan, it isn't over yet. That's why you gotta give uh, credit to Watts too, because anything is gonna go down. Oh, that's painful, that's to say the least. Because I don't think you should expect that to go down in that way. But where does it go, this main event? What kinds of things going on? Blight now on the counter. Is it where he wants to take it? And there's a huge slam. Counter suplex. I couldn't call that. Went really quickly. And there it is. Already chucks him on the back. And that might end it. There's a final takedown. Cover. That should be it. One, two, three. That was a short lived championship match, but that's the way things can go. More challenges coming your way soon. Here's your winner. Oh, wait a minute. That looked like Warrior J. Don't know what he did there. But Rick Harris is still your R for the BFIT World Champion. That was weird. That leaves us a cliffhanger for next week. Thanks for watching Evolution and good night.